Hey YouTube, it's Soccer Bricks. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a minifigure review on not only the official minifigures from the LEGO Avatar, the last Airbender sets, but also some of the uh, custom work that I've been doing uh, to help kind of fill in the, the Avatar universe that, uh, that I've slowly been creating. So, to start off with, we have the first four main characters of the show. Uh, from left to right, Aang, Katara, Sokka, and Zuko. And I'll just give them a little spin here so you guys can get a good look at all angles of them. Some nice back printing on, uh, on Sokka's torso, as well as the, the obvious um, Zuko ponytail. And a little bit of uh, you know, Aang's, uh, a little bit of Aang's tattoo and, and Sokka's hair. Uh, Katara is probably the one who's the uh, the, the most generic. Um, her hair loopies are just kind of like painted onto her face there. Uh, they did a pretty good job with her necklace. And I like, uh, and I like Sokka's kind of uh, harness for his, uh, for his boomerang. One thing that I am not a big fan of is uh, Sokka's and Aang's legs. They kind of have a distinct lack of side printing, which is not something that uh, Lego typically does anyways um, even if you look at the back it kind of just makes it look a little bit funny so here we have the lesser kind of no-name characters on the left is the Fire Nation soldier and on the right is the firebender and I've taken their armor off so you can see just plain black printing once again um, and uh, get a closer look at, uh, at the faces um, so yeah really nothing really distinctive about them although it's kind of funny I find that the Fire Nation soldier is um, maybe most accurate out of all the characters to kind of his uh, his animated version uh, just with that mustache I know it's a very distinctive style of the Fire Nation soldiers especially in uh, in book one or, uh, or season one and then with the firebender this mask uh, pops up but doesn't really give you any anything else and here is just a little bit of uh, customizing that I've done just with uh, pre-existing Lego pieces. There's no decals here or, or custom printing or anything like that. Just using a lot of the, uh, the Fire Chima uh, torsos to, to make some really cool bodies. Um, with on the right there, I guess you could call him like a Firebender or Assassin or, or Bodyguard of Azula or something like that. Uh, the two in the middle, uh, Azula and Uncle Iroh, are ones that I actually got off of eBay. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, again, those are just pre-existing uh, faces. I think Iroh's is actually someone from Star Wars or something like that. I'm not too sure. Uh, but something that I really like are those um, those one-by-one -one round transparent uh, tiles from the, uh, from the Fire Chima sets. Uh, that really give a good look of uh, just some like low-level fire bending outside of just putting flames into their hands. But um, and then there's uh, Zuko on the left, kind of with his um, book three and onwards hair as he uh, finally grew it out and got rid of that god awful ponytail. And stepping away from kind of the flesh-colored uh, minifigures and uh, heading into some yellow. These I fashioned after the four characters that you see at the very beginning, the intro of the show. Um, yeah, obviously I don't want Emmett's screaming head on the back there, but uh, but this is just kind of look at the the four elements and uh, their representatives, I guess you could say, at the very intro of the show with earth, water, fire, and air. That's all the minifigures that I have for now. Still a lot of things that are works in progress and um, just trying to get it all uh, get it all ready for some set building, uh, which is taking a lot of bricks. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update just with the with all the minifigures that I have been collecting. So thanks for watching.